So if you decide to choose WordPress for your blogging home, let's talk about the two different versions of WordPress. It's a little confusing, so let's make sure that you understand what you're dealing with. The first one is WordPress.com. And if you just head on over there, you'll kind of see what you get there. Now, WordPress.com is their hosted solution. That means they host it for you. They host all the content. They host all the plugins, the themes, everything you need. It's very much like a turnkey solution that they say. The other option is WordPress.org. Now, WordPress.org is actually a self-hosted platform. That means you're going to download the code from that site. They're going to give you a little zip file. You take that file. You actually upload it to your server. They'll walk you through the installation process, but it does require some technical knowledge. What are the differences between the two? Well, obviously, when you have a self-hosted solution, you have a lot more flexibility. You can really get in under the hood, as we say, and you can adjust settings. You can change the layout in any way you want. You really have no limitations. Of course, with that, you also have the ability to break your site. And a lot of us WordPress developers commonly break our site. It's actually an interesting learning experience for many people because it learns, teaches them how to code and how to design. Um, if you're new, though, it can be very frustrating. So if you're new, you're not technical, you don't have your own domain, or your own web space, I would say go to WordPress.com, sign up there. It just takes a few moments, and you can become familiar with the system without having to learn the nuts and bolts of everything. If you want to learn more about blogging, please click on any of these videos above.